Hey guys, we are back, and today I will be showing you how to fold the Origami F15. This plane is actually not that hard to fold, but it's a little hard because there are two slightly tricky steps to it. And we used scissors to cut fins because that just takes down the origami level because if we like made fins right here, it would be really hard without scissors. So we'll be using scissors later. And the cockpit locks, and it's really cool. So I'm gonna teach you how to fold it. All you'll need to fold this F15 is an in half by 11 inch cheesy paper and a pair of scissors. We'll set this to the side for later. So we're gonna start by folding our paper in half. Then we're gonna open this up and fold the top two corners down to the center piece. Like a lot of planes. You wanna make sure this is really pointy because this is gonna actually be the front of the plane. So now we're gonna fold the top point down to the bottom. All the way down here. Now we're going to fold all the way back up just enough to reveal these flaps. So you're basically just folding down along here, but instead you're folding up like this. And then we're going to just unfold both of these. And then the next step is to fold this into the center, but don't do yours yet. Watch me before you do yours. So you're gonna fold this in and crease just to this point, just to this little crease. Just crease to there. So you're gonna unfold that. So there's only a crease in here. And the same thing on the other side. So we could just do these flaps and like pull them. That would lead to a slightly tricky step later. So now we could fold back up. And now, this is a slightly tricky step. So now, we are going to grab this layer and with one hand, you're gonna pull this down. And with the other hand, you're gonna force your hand into this pocket all the way. So you're gonna, wait, hold on. My paper is a little crumpled. Back. Oh, hold on. This, your paper might get a little crumply. So you're going to fold this to the center with one hand. And with the other hand, you're going to force this pocket open. And swing this so it is like you can swivel this. You're going to swivel this to here so it is a triangle. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, with one hand, you're pulling this, and with the other hand, you're closing this pocket. So, once this is like a classic dart, you could use this hand to squash this down and swivel this into a triangle or into a triangular shape. So, now this part is just a little tricky. You're just gonna open this up just a little bit and grab this layer and pull this out. And then you're gonna flip this layer back across the center. Same thing with the other side. So you're gonna just open this up just a little bit and swing this out and flip this back over the center crease. So now, you see, we have these creases, and then we can fold on them. So that is basically just a reference for the step. And then, as you're expecting, you think we're going to do this, but not yet. 
So now we're gonna fold this to here and this to here. As long as this comes close to a point right here, it should be like about like a half an inch or a quarter inch here or something like that. And the same thing with the other side with about a half an inch or a quarter inch here. So now you're gonna open these up just a little. Tuck this back into its layer and do the same thing with the other side. So you're gonna open this up just a little and tuck this into its layer. Your paper might be a little uneven because your crease might have been, and also, if your crease was long enough, you could tuck these under this layer. And go swivel this a little, and there. Now, we are going to fold our paper in half on our existing center crease. And now is where we use scissors. So we just do a slight cut on an angle right here. There and here. So you have two little triangles. You're gonna, you can discard those. And then our, our wing reference is folding this to the center is folding this to the bottom. But since this is on an angle, this won't obey that. So we're just folding this down to here. So the wings will end up pretty big instead of like the classic dart small wings. So now we're gonna flip our paper back over and fold this down to here as a reference for our wing. So now you're going to open your wings up, fold these winglets up just a little bit, position your winglets up, and with a really good throw, this plane can probably go over 100 feet. This is best to throw in like wide fields. Oh, and also, grab this layer and tuck it over this layer. I forgot to say that. And yeah, this is the finished F15. Good luck flying and please like and subscribe.